and we're done with this punch thingy. Of course. Oh, oh wait. Let me um take off this entire tween thing. Oh crap. Oh. Move and remove the tween. Tween. Move all these extra frames. Okay, now we got Kinshiro punching. Um, now we gotta get the sandbag. He's gonna be the victim for this test thingy. For your example, since sandbag sandbag is not gonna be animated, he's only one pose. But most likely, whoever you're using is gonna use um like two or three frames for. Uh, for um, their getting hit movement or something, whatever. It's <coughs> it doesn't matter. Just you do the same thing again. Just make the whole movie clip or graphic, and then you put him in there. Like I'll show you right now. So I'm just gonna break them apart. Like okay. that. I'm gonna make him bigger because he's so small. And he's in. Whoa! Let me cut real quick. Make a new a uh, new layer for sandbag. And then you put him in there. So of course, let's put Kinshiro or whatever. And I'm not gonna put a, I'm not gonna bother putting like a stance first or something. There's no point in doing that. I'm pretty sure you're smart enough to figure it out on your own. Or that you wanna put in a stance, all you gotta do is put the stance in and then when you want him to punch you take out the previous um graphic or whatever of his uh, or whatever was in the frame, then you replace it with him. So, just like you would when you're animating in general. Um now and Shiro is gonna punch. Let's um if you um so what I do is check how many frames the whole um movie clip or graphic is. That's five frames, and then you go five frames um over. Press F five or F six, whatever you you wanna do. S since this is a graphic, you'll be able to see it on the stage. If it was a movie clip, you won't be. But all you have to do, all you you would have to do is just click on it, double click on it, and then just check inside the frames. And there you go. When, when you export, just zoom in, and then yeah, control is punching like crazy. Now we're gonna put in a sandbag. Sandbag gets hit. You look for which frame the punch lands on. Um, sandbag. Make a keyframe there. Well, let's put sandbag there. Just the normal starting frame. Size them. Okay, you're gonna be right. Here. Right. Oh uh, wait, he's too short. Crap. Um, s since he's so short, I'm just gonna extend him. Wow. Hold on. Let's do it this way. Yeah, that's a big sandbag, but at least he'll get hit. That's what matters. No, 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 no. Better yet, let's scale him because it's gonna be hard for me to match the right size in the next frame when he switches poses. Whoa, too big. Okay, yeah, that's good enough. 150. Okay, does his arm reach? Yeah, it does. Okay. So for now, sandbag is normal, and then on the frame where of impact, you change his to his sprite to a hit sprite, which will be this. I got a cop. Wait, is he in the flash? Let me see. Yeah, he's already there. In there. Bit <coughs> of that. Modify, transform, scan, rotate. And put 200. Then again, 150 because that's what I did. 
and now unlight him. Onion skin is on already, so just to let you know that. All right. Generally, I'd make um this a uh, symbol just for I, that way I can you easily just bring it out the library and for, as a symbol already done for you. So I'm gonna make it sand bat hit. The previous one I I usually would as well, but I'm not really gonna need it right now. So <coughs> you can switch. Oh yeah, by the way, um you can switch the layer order you want. Since he's gonna get here, I'm gonna put him on the bottom layer so you see his fist there so over here can shoot punches and then you can see sandbag gets hit and yep yeah. I know it's a not exactly a great example I'm kind of I'm just not doing I'm not trying that hard right now just just to show you this you can try something like make him when he gets hit you can tween him to go a little back so it can Give give a sense that he got knocked back. You want you can put more frames on that. And if you um if you're using a graphic and you don't want the um animation to repeat, you can just click on the graphic right here and go down here and click on play once. That way it'll only play once and it'll just stay in the last frame for the entire thing. No repeats. Um, I don't know if you can do that with a movie clip, and most likely you won't without action scripting now not once again you're not ready for it yet but if you're using a graphic you can just easily do it that way so we're gonna tweet him back I'm gonna try to ease it a little and make him go back a bit further maybe yeah it looks kinda of way better okay once again not the best thing now well, now I know you, most of you will spam me about this, but we're gonna add a hit effect, and uh, yeah, <coughs> we'll add a hit effect. I'm gonna have one. I'm gonna look for one that's already done. Um, let me find it. I'm gonna pause it real quick. All right, um, back here. I found a really um simple hit spot right here. It's basic and simple. For you guys, I'm gonna make it crappy. Yeah, just for you guys, it's crappy. I know, I'm a nice guy. So we're just gonna <coughs> animate this one real quick in a, in a graphic symbol. Unless you wanna make it a movie clip again, that's up to you. Hit spark. And, oh my god, I misspelled hit spark, whatever. Control B. And get all that nasty stuff out, all that nasty. Out, yeah, and that's about it. This one's really easy. It's small and basic, so easy to and easy to animate. Just get it in the center. Just to let you know, this is my way of animating. There, a lot of people might do it differently. There might be faster ways that I'm not mentioning, but this is how I am. I'm used to doing it, how I do it. So if you if you see somebody else doing it a better way, don't go and say I'm retarded or something. I'm just used to it this way. This is the way I animate it. Deal with it. You don't have to do it my way. You can um, try to do what I do and just in, and learn on your own, learn some new things on your own instead of relying on tutorials. But this is my way. You can try it my way too. I'm used to it and I'm quite comfortable with it. Now, <coughs> hit spark is um, done, and we're gonna once again look for uh, look for the frame of impact. Um, I just fired it. Sorry. And place it there. Remember, new layer. I'm gonna name it effects layer. Put any effect there. <sighs> so yeah, new hit spark right here. Let me see how big this goes. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna make it a little bigger, just for you guys. Um, that's about it. Yeah, hit spark right there. 
and remember it should only last four frames so delete the rest just press cut and the rest should be gone there and once you export bam okay there <coughs> that's what you do when you interact with two sprites if you would want to make a sandbag attack right after um, he got hit then you simply new keyframe and for sandbag you just put the next and uh, the next frame which would be let's say the um he go back to this and he go back to that pose and then he once again you press put new keyframe look for the next attack here 